EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to one of our favorite spots, Venerable Soldier Field in Chicago. Tonight, we've got a good NFC matchup in store as it'll be the Detroit Lions taking on the Chicago Bears. And the opening kickoff will not be returned as that will be a touchback. The Chicago offense set to get started. Fields passing on the first play from scrimmage. This is Chase Claypool on the receiving end. 14 yards there on the first play from scrimmage. That's a good start to the ball game. Maybe a little bit of a tone setter offensively. They come out throwing right away, and it's an early completion and a quick first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Here's a first carry for Khalil Herbert. There he goes, left side. Loose inside the 30. Inside the 10. Touchdown, Chicago. Khalil Herbert, 61 yards. And the Bears need just two plays on their opening drive to take the early lead. Well, if they didn't get the wake-up call before the game, they got it right now. Two plays already in the end zone. I think of it in boxing terms because whether it's a big shot with your first one or a probing one, a little bit of a jab, the second one was the payoff. That was the big one that landed. One, two, end zone. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. No run back here for Raymond. This will be a touchback. Detroit's offense ready to take over. Goff in this Lions offense set for a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Now the former Bear, this is David Montgomery. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Here's Gaw. And that throw behind his man. He missed him incomplete. Charles already trailing by a touchdown early. This offense, how imperative is it for them to get points out of this drive? Well, they feel like they have to go ahead and match because of what was already on the board against their defense. But I think even more so, you just want to avoid three and outs. You want to be able to stay on the field for a little while, let your defense catch their breath a little bit, even if you don't score any points. Accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. After the delay, they're backed up even further for third and long. Goff now looking to throw. Man open, and St. Brown has got it. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I know at the end of games, coaches always tell us that no one play won or lost a game. 
But this seems pretty important early, doesn't it? Their, their ability to pick up that first down on third down, I thought that was key. Well, you're already in the hole after the touchdown on the other side. How will you respond? We talk about that a lot, and they responded pretty well there. You go three and out, I think you give up a lot of momentum. You get down two scores, could be an entirely different game. So they've got a nice drive going now. They're in good shape. What's interesting to me is they're also in that spot of the field where you would take a shot. Do you change that up just because you're down a touchdown? Second and ten. Going up the gut, Montgomery. And he's going to bull his way forward to the 48. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Okay, he didn't break that one all the way, but you got to know that he feels like he's right on the verge, and that's probably exactly what he's telling them in the huddle right now. The Bears bring out an extra defender in the secondary now for third down. To throw is gone. And this is going to be incomplete. How about that? Red man coverage and decided to test him early. But it turned up to the task and forced the incompletion. Jack Fox now gets set to punt. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And now where will the side judge stop his walk? That's the question. He says it crossed out of bounds at about the 17-yard line. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. They've got the 7-0 lead. Now they've got the football back after their defense got the stop, CD. And you get the feeling if they could score here, they'd really have all the momentum on their side. And you just wonder right now, is the quarterback and the play caller totally in sync? Are they of one mind to, hey, what worked last time? Let's keep doing it until they stop us. Or do they go to a different section in the playbook, show them something different? Either way, they want a repeat of their first drive. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. From the 23, here's second down and five. Off play action, Fields. Open man left side, it's the tight end, Tunyon. And he'll be upended here after a pickup of three, getting it out to the 25. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran it a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line, but once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. And he will find the open man. It's D.J. Moore, and he will have the Bears' first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. Herbert powering up the middle. And give him about five as he gets this up to the 48-yard line. If you're a coach, you'll absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. Counting down toward the midway point in corner one. Back to throw, Fields. There's a short throw, it's caught by Komet. A five-yard pass on the heels of a five-yard run. Good enough for the first. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Brandon, you're a big lover of music. How about what you just saw there? This is what I call playing the piano for a defensive lineman, the ability to move laterally up and down the line of scrimmage. How about the way he just flowed and got to the outside part of the field and made that play? Another carry for Herbert on second down. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play there, so that doesn't help. Now they're looking up at a third and nine situation. He had a minimal gain on first down. Now they stop him for no gain. What do you think, going in a different direction on third down? Could very well be. I'll guarantee he's asking for the ball third time to try and make up for the first two. But his QB might very well say, well, my man, maybe next. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. 
Levi Onzerike charging in and finishing off the sack. You know, on these types of plays, we're always looking to assess blame. Okay, where did it break down? Sometimes it's just a great play. On fourth down, Chicago brings out Trenton Gill. Back deep, Khalif Raymond. This one will sail out of bounds. It'll depend on the spot here. And the side judge says that went out at the seven-yard line. Let's go old school there. That's absolutely a great coffin corner punt. Someone's put some time in working on that, hasn't it? Seems you? like every year these guys get better and better. It's amazing how they can command that football through the air. Yeah, they used to actually practice with hula hoops where they place them and try and put them there. Now a lot of guys use barrels on the sidelines to try and put the football in one. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Looked like he had a couple of different options as far as who to throw to on that play. And who am I to say this, but I'm not sure he made the right decision. Well, the window of opportunity is always going to be small in the NFL. That's why those quarterbacks who make quick decisions and have quick releases have the most success in this league. On second down, Montgomery. And they're able to bring him down at the 20. First down, Lions on a pickup of 13. Interior of that line blocked really well on that run, but also the two tight ends, they blocked well too. Not only have they scouted the line of scrimmage, with their agility, they can get upfield and hit moving targets like linebackers, defensive backs. They do a really good job helping out the running game. Now Goff on first down. He'll leave it for Montgomery complete. So nothing doing there, and it'll be second down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. A give to Montgomery out of the gun, and he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Goff now looks to throw. They'll set up the screen to Montgomery. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? On first down, gone. And his throw here is incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive. But a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Montgomery back to the ground. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? Eighth play of the drive, fourth coming, and they need eight yards on third down. Here's gone. Now we're going to get a stoppage. There appears to be an injured bear on the field. Well, hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, are going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. Here's Jack Fox now. Fair catch called for and made at about the 32-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And that will come the offense as they take over. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. 
Fields and the Bears now with a first and 10 at the 33-yard line. Fields now to throw. Flush to his right. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Back in Chicago, ready for the second quarter. It's the Bears in possession. So that changes things a bit. Here's a first and 10 all the way down at the 35. Here's Fields. And he's got the hook up to Moore. 18 more yards there and another first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. One play action. Fields. Pass incomplete. Just looking at it from a defensive perspective, when you break the huddle in the red zone, tight end is one of the guys you've got a key on because quarterbacks want the ball in their hands fast in this position, and they want to get it to someone. And in this case, he had the play. They just didn't complete it. Second and 10, fields again. And he'll slide to a halt here. Still a little shy of the first down marker. Six yards there off the scramble, but it'll still leave him with a third down. Certainly not the way they drew it up in the playbook, but that's why they love this guy back there. He sees things breaking down, and he's more than capable of finding an escape route and still getting a decent gain. A shotgun snap. Fields locates Mooney on the out route. And the Bears are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed, picking up the first. On first and goal, they'll try the option left. And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. Justin Fields scoring on the keeper from six yards out. And the Bears go up by two touchdowns. Now the point after try for Santos. And it's good to make it Kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This fielded right at the goal line. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. Another shot now for this Lions offense. And they're in a bind early here, down 14 0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. 
Off play action. Here's Goff. He's going to get this one out to his fullback. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. So that'll go as a four-yard loss on the play. And that's going to set up a tough third and nine. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. Now Goff. And he wisely will throw that one away. Well, this first half has not gone according to plan so far offensively or even defensively for that matter. They could use a big-time spark somewhere, but it's not going to come on this drive as they have to punt this one away. Here's Jack Fox now as he's on to punt for Detroit. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. So possession goes over here on the punt. And it will be first and ten as they take over. Fields and the Bears now with a first and ten. At about the 32. Here's Fields. Now pass complete to Moore. This drive starting off on the right foot. 18 yards. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. They'll fake the handoff, now Fields. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. No shortage of impressive moments for him thus far. Now he's halfway to the century mark, and we're still in the first half. There's been no answer for his running ability so far by the defense. I can't wait to see what adjustments they'll have to make during the halftime break. Line of scrimmage, the 43 on second and four. On oh, the option left is Fields. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. Excellent job on the keeper. 20 yards and a first down. It looked like almost a miscommunication defensively because once he decided to keep it, he had pretty smooth sailing. Yeah, it became a question of, wait a minute, who's got the quarterback? And when you talk about miscommunication, it's supposed to be called assignment football on the defensive side of the ball. But the assignment gets mixed up. That's the end result. Now left side on the swing pass. All defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. From the 21, here's the second and eight. A handoff for Herbert. And he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18. Just a couple on the pickup there, and now it's third down. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Throwing on third down, Fields. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Got what they needed there. The drive continues with a nine-yard pickup. Oh, man. Just when the D thought they had the answer for him, he went and changed the question. Surprises him by taking off himself. He's able to set up his offense pretty with a first and goal. They'll run here with Herbert. And a short pickup there down to about the nine. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. The yards may start getting a little tougher to come by down here near the goal line. That's good work defensively there on first down, holding them to a short gain. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. Herbert once more. And from the nine, they get this to the five-yard line. And a nice job defensively to keep him out of the end zone. He's trying to get a second touchdown already in the first half. They had that one earlier, was bidding for a second. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. Now Fields. And that is caught. Touchdown, Bears. 
Chase Claypool. A five-yard touchdown. And the Bears take a three-touchdown lead. Boy, so if you are scoring at home, Charles, and God bless you if you are, but that's now three drives and three touchdowns. So in a baseball game, wouldn't that wreak havoc on your scorecard? Yes. I mean, with all the action that's happening now, how they got here, whatever cliche you want to bring into it, they're locked into a groove, they're clicking on all cylinders. Bottom line, they're piling up the points. The Bears send the kicking team out there, and they will send this one away. Here comes Khalif Raymond from his end zone. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. And Detroit back in possession of the football. Well, CD, you kind of feel like they're in a bit of a danger zone right here because now you're down three scores. And I know we're in the first half, but... The way this offense hasn't been able to generate anything, you feel like they probably need to get something going on this drive, right? Yeah, and sometimes I overuse that this is an important possession, but I think this has to be the possession where they come up with an answer because only a few teams in league history have ever come back from a four-score deficit, and if they don't score here, that's what they could be facing the next time they get the ball. From the 25, here's second and a couple. throw complete to Reynolds and not much to speak of call it a one yard gain up to the 26 the goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football how about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen did not let him get downfield third and two golf this pass complete to Reynolds and he'll be brought down with the first down after a gain of about 11 as that takes us to the two-minute warning. Goff on first down. And that's going to be incomplete to hold on to that one. It's second down. That sure looked like a nice call by the defense, and they're very cohesive in their coverage. As soon as he cut inside, they broke on the football and met him as the ball got there and forced the incompletion. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. Goff throwing again. Well, that'll be caught. It's St. Brown. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 41-yard line. 23 yards the pick up there. Now that's the kind of big play you'd like to see. This first half, it hasn't gone their way, and they could use a shot in the arm, something to perk them up a bit. And they get one here in the passing game. Well, a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in. Two chunk plays in a row. The last one was over 20 yards, and so is this one. And I don't think there's any question that this offense is going to need to hit on a few more plays like this. It's been a difficult first half for them, to say the least. And I do believe if they want to get back in this game, they need to start right now. It's kind of like making adjustments. If you try and wait until the half, it's probably too late. They need to get going right here. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Second and three from the nine. Goff now looking to throw. This to LaPorta right side. 
A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. Play number nine set to come here on the drive on third and two. Now it's golf. And the throw there going to be incomplete. And based on my math, they've only converted one time thus far in this game. So you can see the frustration starting to come out a little bit. Third downs, they've been a problem for them all game. They've got to start becoming solutions. The offense staying out. They're going to go on fourth and two. They go ahead and snap it. Golf. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Lions turned away on fourth down, and this 10-play drive winds up yielding nothing. A chance to get some momentum here in the second quarter, getting their first trip into the red zone, but unable to get it across. And if I'm the head coach, Sure, you feel some disappointment, maybe a little bit of deflation there because you didn't get it in, but I'm going straight to rah-rah mode. All right, guys, we didn't get it this time. It's only the second quarter. We'll be back. Let's get it later on. I want to keep this team up. I want them to feel like they've let everyone down. Positive. Got to be positive in this situation. It's too early to think that you don't have a chance to win this game. Four yards remain for second down. Now it's Fields. And again, back to Komet. Fields to Komet there for a Chicago first. Let's just call it what it is. This has been a flat-out struggle for this defense all game long. They've really had a hard time slowing them down. And while I'm not big on speeches and guys jumping up and down, they might need their team leader on defense to get in their face right now and light a fire under these guys. They've got to start playing better assignment football and start getting guys on the ground. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Lions offense now with a football first here to begin quarter number three. They look up at the scoreboard facing that deficit. A three-score game, Charles, but look, there's plenty of time to go here. The old football cliche that comes to my mind is you can't get it all back at once. They probably need something, though, out of this drive, at least three points. Are you trying to say that there's no three-score drive on that play sheet for any of those coordinators? They just don't have it, right? <laughs> You're trying to get it all back. You know you can't get it back in one drive, but maybe cut into it a little bit, as you just suggested. Try and create a little bit of momentum, a little bit of a spark, and then maybe that'll carry over. I'm sure this isn't a novel thought, but maybe run some simpler routes instead of trying to get it all back in one shot. Defense certainly appears to be ready for them. Try and get it back little by little instead of in big chunks. Back to the air. Goff on second down. And Jones has it over the middle. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Throwing on third, golf. Throw left side to Reynolds. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. This offense is starting to get into rhythm. A nice quick throw there on target, able to pick up another first down. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. To the air again, golf. A little short pass here taken in by Laporta. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days, but you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target, and that's how he'll shred a defense. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. 
From the gun on third down, Goff. He's got his tight end. That's reported with it. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 36. 23 yards on the play. Normally on third down and short yardage, you're thinking to throw to your tight end. It's just going to be a simple chain mover. But this time they let him roam down the field, and a nice dart picks up the first down and then some. First down, here's the run to Montgomery. And some strong running there as he's down just shy of the 20 on the edge of the red zone. 50 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. Just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Again, they'll go ground with Montgomery. It'll only be a gain of a yard, and it sets up a third down and four now. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Golf. That's complete to the Porta. And the Lions are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. And in a lot of ways, that catch is expected. Red zone presence, and that one was realized there. You've got to find your tight end in that situation. So another third down conversion, and now they've got a first and goal. Throw left side, caught by Laporta. Nice job defensively to hold him to four, and now it's second and goal. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Montgomery. his way into the end zone. He was not to be denied. It's a touchdown. And that's a step in the right direction. This had the feeling of one of those turning point kind of drives. If you come up empty there, it could be a long road back. But they persevered and hung around, and they closed the gap here in the third quarter with their first touchdown of the game. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And they'll cut the lead to 21-7. is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. So here are the Bears now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. And they were terrific in the first half, built up a sizable lead. It's just been cut into a bit following the opening drive score on the other side. But this is a unit that has to be itching to get the football again. You can say that again. They've got to be pretty eager because, let's face it, they've had to sit through halftime and sit on the sidelines and watch that drive. So you can bet that they're saying, let's get on with this. we got to go out there and get some more points. To give you an idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football, we're in the second half. That's just his second incompletion. Well, if he's that locked in, that means everyone's locked in because to me it's like throwing a no-hitter in baseball. The pitcher may get the credit, but a lot of people making plays behind him in the field. And he'll get it out of 
couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. 102 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. Well, that last run makes this a 100-yard night. I've loved the way he's hit the holes. He's been quick. He's been decisive. And he's been a whole lot of fun to watch. On first down, right back to Herbert. And some solid footwork there as he'll take this down to about the 38. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time and another first down. Consecutive plays now where that offensive line has really created a lot of space. And we've seen the confidence rise, haven't we? It borders on arrogance now, and that's that good arrogance, believing you can run the football whenever you get good and ready. On first and 10, here's Fields. Quick slant, caught by Moore. 13-yard gain yet again, just like last play. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. Here's a give to Herbert. And not much of a hole there as he gets it down to about the 24-yard line. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carrier before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. Second down, they go back to Herbert. And he'll get about five here as he'll take this down inside the 20-yard line. They're a pretty good spot right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves, start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. Here's Fields. Complete on the quick throw to Moore. And he will have the Bears first down as he'll be marked out a yard or two past the marker following a gain of six. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short, blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. On first down, Fields. Got his man, and it's caught for a Chicago touchdown. D.J. Moore. A 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Bears are able to stretch out their lead. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical. That's one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now, starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with yep. a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. The Bears send the kicking team out there, and they will send this one away. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. And Detroit getting set to go now. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. So give him two yards there on the completion, and it'll be second down. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Golf. Now that'll be caught by St. Brown. That'll go for a gain of seven. 
And it'll leave him with third and a full yard to go. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. They'll run it. Here's Montgomery. And some good acceleration there as he's across midfield to the 48-yard line. 75 yards on the ground so far for Montgomery. It's a first down. That was good, tough running right up the middle. And if the defense can't penetrate and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. First down, they run again. Here's Montgomery. And they'll get this just to the 47. One yard gain. Credit him with a one yard gain there to make it second and nine. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Ball on the 47-yard line. Here's second and nine. Back to throw. Goff. And this one is incomplete. Even with such a big lead late, the effort hasn't lapsed one bit. If the offense wants to score some points in this one, they're going to have to earn it. These guys are not giving up anything. They'll need to get this to the 38. That's where the first down marker is here on third. Here's Goff. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. And defensively, you look at the numbers. Another incomplete pass that we just saw, and they're under 200 yards passing for the game, so they've done their job on that side of the ball. Yeah, recently I was actually working a game where a quarterback had a streak of five straight games without a 200-yard game, and that was a big talk both in his town and amongst his team. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. This is Herbert. And a good job of finding the open space to run as he's down close to the 30 here. Mark that down as a pickup of 13, and the Bears have the first. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Finally, defensively, they have a little clip to show positive for actually stopping him running the football. It's been a really long night for them, hasn't it? So they got a little bit of a win there, but let's face it. The vision that he's had running the football has carried his feet to the open spaces and to big yardage all night long. And he will cross the 30 down to the 29-yard line. Give him three yards on the run there. That still leaves him with a difficult third and eight coming up. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. And he will not make it to that imaginary yellow line as they get him to the ground at about the 23. No fields is off, and on comes Cairo Santos for the Chicago field goal. From the right hash, this from an even 40 yards out. Santos' kick is up and through. So after four touchdowns in the game for this offense, this time they're forced into taking the three. But you did mention four touchdowns, right? So four out of five, not too bad. I think that's a pretty good record for them.
Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Taken at the goal line. And he will make it back to the 15, and that's it. Good coverage there by the kick team. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. Goff in this Lions offense, set for a first and 10 at their own 15. They'll go with a rookie from Alabama. It's Jameer Gibbs. And he'll take this one up over the 20 to the 21-yard line. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. If you're in the offensive huddle, you're smiling after that play because you've certainly got them guessing now. Second and short, could they just hand it off for another big gain, or do they take advantage of this spot to take a big shot downfield? On second down, here's Goff. A little short pass here taken in by Laporta. Eighth catch for him now. He's been a big factor. And it's a first down. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play. And that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. On first and 10, here's Gibbs. And that didn't fool anybody. He's going to be dropped in the backfield. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty. But when it doesn't, oh, it can be ugly. And in this case, loss of yardage ugly. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. Now gone. He's got right on the short throw. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Let's not quibble about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Here's Gaw. And yeah, that will be incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Lions turned away on fourth down. And the Bears are going to get the football back, and they're going to get it in great field position. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. On first and ten, it's Herbert. And a tackle there by C.J. Gardner-Johnson. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. From the 32-yard line now, here's a second down and nine. On the option right is Fields. And he is out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. An excellent run of 22 yards on the keeper and also a first down. And if you're keeping an eye on the box score, that last run puts him over the 100-yard mark for the game. And this defense has just had all sorts of trouble trying to keep him under wraps, both passing and running. And they'll send the slot in motion left. They'll run here with Herbert, and he'll take this one inside the 10 down to the 8. A gain of three, second down. Well, praise has to go to the guys in the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game, and while they slowed them down on that run, can they continue to do so because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game? Another carry for Herbert on second down. And that'll move him a little closer as he takes it from the seven down to the four-yard line. So where'd all that running room that he had in the first half go? Because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. The offense on third down tonight, they've been very good. Five for seven thus far. This is third and four. Fields now to throw. Under pressure now, he's going to go down. 
sacked back around the eight. Romeo Aquara drops him for a four-yard loss there, and that brings up fourth down. Well, we've seen him escape similar situations earlier in the game and get away from pretty good yardage, and that time they get him down. Yeah, they've had enough evidence that he can get away and run for good yardage, haven't they? That time it felt like, okay, enough of this. Let's play it the right way and get him on the ground before he does any damage. Well, ultimately not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but... They'll take the three, and they pad that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know if you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so. And maybe you've actually clicked him off in your headset so you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. The Bears send the kicking team out there, and they will send this one away. And it'll come out to the 25 as Raymond will elect not to bring it out. So here come the Lions now. Well, we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And, partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over. And, and now off to the races down the right side. Look at the big fella go. Into space at the 45. Touchdown, Detroit. Sam Laporta. 75 yards. And the Lions get a small measure of revenge as they cut into this fourth quarter deficit. And we didn't even get a chance to settle in for that drive. A quick strike of 75 yards, and they find the end zone. Don't you get the sense that film study was behind this one, that they saw something that they thought they could take advantage of? The key is calling it in the right situation. Knowing when it exists to go to it, they did exactly that. They've got to feel really good about what they did in advance of this game. Just looking down at the sideline now, their defense is like, man, can you have strung that out just a few <laughs> plays? Give us a break. Back out there. Hey, man, give that water break and get on out there and play. So still lots of work left to do, but here comes the onside kick. And they've got it. They recovered it. Wait, hang on now, though. There's a penalty flag down. Well, CD, you understand. I mean, they're so eager trying to get back in this game here in the fourth quarter, but they touched that one a little too early before it went 10 yards. Brandon, in such a high-stakes scenario, everyone's feeling the pressure on this play. The special teams coordinator, which one is he going to pick in terms of kicks? Can the kicker execute it? Can the team wait for 10 yards? So many variables, and in this case, they didn't get it done. A run there on first down and a pretty good one of five yards, so make it second and five. Good gain there on first down. It keeps them in a running situation, probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front, good blocking, nice hole for him. He ends up picking up nice yardage, stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. They are in charge of this scenario right now. They want to stay that way. And not in any rush offensively. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. Two straight runs of five yards, first and ten. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. They'll go again with Herbert. Tackle there by Alex Anzalone. 
But we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. On second down, a run with Herbert. 165 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. I think we can safely say that those types of plays are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. The heavy set out there. Three tight ends in the formation for third and three. They'll run with Herbert. And he's going to be a yard short. A two-yard pickup leads to fourth and one. When a good play is made on defense, oftentimes leverage is the key to everything. Defensive line not getting turned, all the other guys making sure they're in the right spot, and on that play, they were able to stop him short of a first down. So this one in the win column for the Chicago Bears. And you look back over the score sheet, interesting. A very clean game, no turnovers by either side. An absolute rarity when we watch games now because defenses have put such an emphasis on taking the ball away. Well, what we saw here was offenses spending their time saying, look, you know they're coming for it. Ball security is paramount. So they worked on that, not just a week of practice, but I'm sure all during training camp. Make sure when you have it, tuck it away because danger 